So now that we've learned how to make a living like a cowboy, dance like a cowboy and shoot like a cowboy, we're on our way to becoming a real cowboy here in Arizona. But there's one more thing you have to know, and that's how to look like a cowboy. And that of course starts with the oh so classic cowboy boots. We're here outside the home of bootmaker Paul Krause, who can tell us more about the iconic cowboy attire. Krause is so passionate about boot making that he sees it as more than just a craft. So I see boot making as an art, but I describe it as a lowercase a art. I don't think of it as fine art with a capital A. That's my own little thing that I, that I, the way I like to answer that question. More than anything though, it's almost like I like to use the elements of design in my boots, which kind of starts to qualify them as art. Um, I work with themes, color, contrast, texture. So in that way, maybe it's more design than art, but um, it's more art than a lot of other things that pass for art. Every boot has a unique design, which starts when Krauss reshapes the leather. Okay. If it was sharp like this, it would be uncomfortable for the foot. So now we're going to skive it with my skiving knife. Skive is a word I don't know that it exists anywhere else in the English language other than in leather work. Kraus is also a teacher. He gives workshops for people of all ages. I like to say that I don't teach how to make boots. I teach how to learn how to make boots. I was lucky enough to get such a lesson from Kraus and get a glimpse of the charisma behind the leather. You've got it so that the, the tan color is facing you here and you're just doing that around in a circle so that the leather, it never, it never wants to be twisted. Just try to keep it spiraling right. like that. So let's give it a go. So pull it through like that. Mm -hmm. Even though this looks pretty simple, it's actually quite a challenge to keep the leather from twisting. And like so. If I'm going to make boots for somebody who's going to be working out in the in the dirt and the rocks and, and the Arizona territory, I use a lot more sturdy materials. So I make different choices for who I'm making them for. As a bespoke maker, I listen and I measure and I do what the customer uh, needs or what they've asked for. It is meticulous work that requires patience and time. It's kind of like quilting it. We're trying to get those layers to stay combined. If I just stitched around the perimeter, the middle of it could, could scooch as the heel goes down in there. So this just kind of like anchors it to the layers. People say, I don't have the patience for, for that. You know, they look at me working. Oh, I don't have the patience for that. And my reply is always that this is where one finds patience. Throughout his career, Krauss has learned many lessons, one of which is best explained by scholar Joseph Campbell. Life reveals our character, he said. Life reveals our character. You learn more about yourself as you go along. And I found that boot making reveals a lot about your character also. Not just things like stamina and uh, perseverance, but how well do you handle um, failure? So now we've learned how to make a living like a cowboy, dance like a cowboy, shoot like a cowboy, and how to rock the cowboy boots and make them. But what we've also learned today is that becoming a cowboy doesn't happen overnight. It requires a lot of years and a lot of patience. For Coward to Cowboy, I'm Dylan.